CBS 2 News at 11 p.m. Good evening, I'm Rob Schmidt. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Susie Sa. Tragedy on the water tonight. Three people killed, several others injured in a deadly collision. Well, here in downtown Los Angeles, the demonstration remains peaceful, but as CBS 2's Rachel Kim reports, the crowd of protesters grew much bigger today during a massive march. A La Puente mom is in jail tonight, accused of running over her son and his father while drunk. It all happened last night outside their home on Duff Avenue. Firefighters say the woman drove her SUV through the back wall of the garage and struck the victims while they were inside the garage. The man is listed in critical condition tonight. The boy's condition is unknown. That's the place to be tonight. Yeah, I was just going to say with the weather being the way it is, so pleasant out there, perfect for the Hollywood Bowl setting. Just yep. al fresco outside on a uh, beautiful uh, evening, Kai. Uh, tonight, a veteran L.A. police detective is under scrutiny for posting a crime scene photo on Twitter. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Susie Sa. All right, thank you very much for that. And questions tonight in the shooting death of a young man by police behind a Southland motel. It all happened in Pomona on the 900 block of West Holt Avenue just before 9 this morning. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department has joined the investigation into exactly what led two P Pomona police officers to open fire on a car in this motel parking lot. A 26-year-old man was killed in front of his girlfriend after police were concerned about suspicious activity years old. Yeah, so tragic, Jim. Thank you very much for that. Well, an off-road racing champion is among three of the people killed in a small plane crash in the high desert. Across Seal Beach tonight and in neighboring cities, the community is reaching out, holding fundraisers to help the families of the victims of the Salon Massacre. And the weather is by far the best yeah. news of the day. It is going to be a good work week for us, Kai. CBS 2's Susie Sell is live where it happens, Susie. Well, Paul, a manager here at Roscoe's tells me that he had no idea the president was going to be here today. He walked across the street for a second because he saw a group of police officers standing there. He went up to them and asked them, what's going on here? And they told him the president might be here today. And he knew exactly what that meant. So he ran back into the building, told everyone what was going on. And before they knew it, the president of the United States was ordering a number nine. Surreal. Capital letter, Surreal. At Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles on Pico, a surprise serving. I was like, wow, really? Of the President of the United States. Patrons and employees like David Daviston. Actually, you know it's going on Facebook. Couldn't grab their cell phone cameras quick enough. Oh, it was exciting when he came through the door. Everybody yelled, four more years, and Barack Obama. On the menu, chicken and waffles. On the side, casual conversations with the commander in chief. And El Presidente. He signed autographs and he talked with the people and laughed. Shook my hand, just normal. He was being himself, cool, suave. Tia Davis took Mr. Obama's order. I'm going to have a chicken and a waffle. Yeah. A number nine, three wings and a waffle. And butter and syrup. And took a picture too. I was very nervous, but once he started talking to me, I wasn't nervous at all no more. He made me feel comfortable. Mid Wilshire, mid rush hour dinner time, the president ate his wings with some hot sauce. Oh, it's crazy. Took some more photos and took off for his fundraisers where dinner was going for more than $35,000 a piece. A big difference from the $8.90 per dignitarian dish at Roscoe's. Kind of just like amped on just of who he is. By the way, Tia Davis almost didn't come to work today, but she and many others are sure glad they had a craving for chicken and waffles. It's a blessing. Yeah, it is. Hmm. The president, by the way, did pay for his meals with cash, and we don't know exactly how much tip he left, but apparently this isn't the first time a president has dined here at Roscoe's. Former presidents uh, Jimmy Carter, uh, Bill Clinton, as well as George W. Bush have also eaten here. We are live from Mid Wilshire tonight. Susie Sa, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Now at 11, several flights at LAX and across the country are canceled tonight as a surprise October snowstorm pounds the East Coast. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Susie Sa. Irvine police say they've busted a man for stealing package deliveries from doorsteps. CBS 2's Edward Lawrence explains how officers are trying to get the stolen items back to their rightful owners. A great white shark attack in Central California. Officials say a 27-year-old surfer was bit on the neck and forearm at Marina State Beach near Monterey. The great white also left a 19-inch bite mark on his surfboard, as you see here. The man managed to paddle back to shore, and that's when a group of Good Samaritans 
came to his rescue. An emergency arbitration hearing is going on right now as we speak in Australia to try and get Qantas back in the air. The airline grounded its entire fleet because of a strike by three unions in Australia, engineers, pilots and transport workers. Five flights out of LAX were canceled tonight and we're just being told six flights tomorrow from LAX have just been canceled. Others are canceled around the world. Well, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers rocked the house at Cal State Northridge tonight. Hey, how cool is this? Petty and his band played a rare small theater show to benefit the university's public radio station, KCSN. They added a second show tomorrow night after tonight's concert sold out. No big surprise there. Other big names included U2 and Coldplay, and Melissa Etheridge donated autographed guitars to be auctioned off. And you might ask, oh. why CSUN? And that's because I hear that uh, the radio station there used to play his music before right. he was popular. So I love Tom Petty. I've been to that concert many times. That is so cool. It's a Friends of the 17-year-old victim are sharing disturbing details about the suspect tonight. They tell CBS2 he was arrested just last week for making threats against his girlfriend and her family. CBS Suzanne Sterling is live in Southgate tonight where classmates of Cindy Santana met with grief counselors. And we're learning more tonight about the woman severely burned in a crash on the 101 freeway. Bystanders pulled 27-year-old Galani Taylor from her burning SUV yesterday. She suffered burns to 90% of her body. Her nine-year-old daughter died in the crash. According to the Ventura County Star, Taylor is an aspiring singer-songwriter. She recently posted online that she was looking for backup singers and dancers for her music videos. Taylor was in the process of recording her debut album.